And welcome back to another exciting episode brought to you by Saturday Night Gaming. I am Tony Stevens. I am presenting to you a tale known as Project Paradox. I'll be your GM tonight, your narrator, and all around uh, guy telling you not to forget to click like, share, and subscribe with all your family, your friends, and even people that you don't know but you know are interested in the same things you are. I'll go ahead and let my cast and crew introduce themselves, tell us their name, their character's name, and a little bit about what's happened to them thus far. We're starting this time at my left. <gasps> That's me. That is you, sir. All right. I am Semio. I am a god of light. I'm joking. My name's Sam uh, Danson. Um, I'm a police officer and former PI. Um, and oh, really? Been, yes. I have been stranded in some strange new land and mistaken for some god of light. That happens to some of us sometimes. Others, it it's happens to never. Of us. Yeah. All right. I am Zix Kinfeng, and apparently the apostle of the prophet Samael now. <laughs> As it happens. Who has convinced an entire city block to blindfold themselves so that Samael will come back. Mm, something like that. Um, furthermore, I have a cool little knife that turns into a bigger knife and I am traveling with my new friends to uh Home sweet home. Okay. I believe is where they said we were going. Um, I am uh, Brigitte, and I am on the road again. <laughs> it's been a very weird day. Indeed. All right. Well, here we go. So, as it happened, you left the... Ota Megalopolis in a sewer which led you to a large all-terrain vehicle. Uh, it has been roughly a day's travel that you've been on inside of this all-terrain vehicle. You know that you have left the Ota Megalopolis and you have even in, driven through uh, what seemed to be the farmlands, the moorlands. Uh, so, as you were on the road, you've been listening to the music that this individual, <laughs> Vic, has been playing for you. Uh, you could see outside when you were passing through the Garrett and Moorlands, you could see that there were several farmers, about each of them very modestly dressed, covering themselves, most of them male, uh, every single one of them giving you dirty looks. Because no, literally they're people. covered in mud and they're giving you looks. <laughs> um, but you're traveling through at a pretty, pretty brisk pace. He has not slowed down this Vic and you haven't had to stop to get gas or anything of that nature. Um, but he's driven straight through the moorlands. When you come upon wooded area, thick wooded area. So mm -hmm. at the, e the edge of the moorlands is... is where the brush begins to grow. These yeah. large trees that tower into the sky like large red oaks. And he continues to drive forward into these trees. A place that you, uh, Zix, uh, have never been right. in all your time on this planet. And obviously you, Sam, have never been here. Never. But the nerves that you feel, you do not see reflected in Brigitta. She seems to be just feet propped up, just as angsty as always, kind of sassy look on her face. Not angsty. Just chill, man. Just chill. So he drives for quite some ways into these dark woods, and he stops the vehicle. All right. 
Listen up. This is as far as you go if I don't have your credentials. I have to assume if you're going to move past this point, you know where you're going. I know Brigitte does. I'll see you later, sassy. I got to go back to the city to pick up more people on the road. Bye. <laughs> Bye. He winks at you. Thank you for the fine ride. Roll my eyes. All right. So as you get out into the woods, uh, this is your setting. He drives away. Mm -hmm. You are with this small grouping of people that you left the sewers with. And only Brigitte seems to know where she is. But the woods are very dark. The trees are very ominous. And you have no bearing for yourself. And you do not feel connected. Okay. Hmm. Then I'm definitely going to stick close to Brigitte. I guess I'm going to lead the way. Which I shouldn't need to roll for since I've already been here a whole bunch of times. You would know to be very cautious in these woods, but you would know the way. Uh, my hands are under, like I've actually pulled my right hand into my cloak so that I can have it on my pommel. Gotcha. Hand, hand on the weapon? Yeah. Ready? All right. Sam, how do you feel about it? Dark woods, you're the only bright light. Yeah, I like it. You like it? I'm okay. a bright light. Sam Iyal is a bright light in a dark world. I'm trying to catch my woods on fire. Okay. Mm. Well, he doesn't catch your the woods. Coat and hat on fire. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, he did magical lightning. He did explode a building. Seems like more of an EMP. That's right. He knows what he's talking about. All right. So uh, I'm assuming you're just you're following behind her. She's she's kind of trucking mm -hmm. at a pretty steady pace, brisk I'm pace, yeah. holding her. I'm just moving with her backpack, and I'm moving my legs as fast as I can make them. Move. Trying to catch up to her. She's got the long Keep stride. Uh, I have manipulated myself such that I can move a little bit faster. Okay. All right. So as you're moving through, um, she's not very stealthy. I'm not even remotely stealthy. Not at all. <laughs> cling, 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 cling. He's not stealthy either. He's a bright, shining light. He is also a bright, shining light, but... Uh, I'm trying to keep head on a swivel at least so that I can be aware of the trees. Okay. So if you want to roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, that is a 21. Okay. So you do notice that there seems to be several trees that shift and move the branches, the leaves, the, the foliage seems to unnaturally shift and move, not with the wind, hmm. uh, but with the movement of something through the trees itself. Mm. Can't quite catch a glimpse of what it is, but you can see the pattern with which it is moving, um, which is in the same track you're on. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I'm not going to react. Uh, I'll probably... Yeah, I actually would. Brigitte, you know we're being followed, right? Usually we are. There's a lot of things that live here. Do they live in the trees? Some of them. Okay. If she's not worried about it, I'll only worry about it a little. Should I be worried about it? Be wary of your stuff. 
If she's not worried about it, I'll only be worried about it a little. All right. So as you're continuing to move forward through the place, uh, you feel a... You feel a strange sense. Mm -hmm. I'll let you roll for that. Okay. Uh, that was a stall. You can do it again. It's, uh, I'm guessing off the precog. Yes. With wisdom. Yes. So. Well, you, yeah. One. Sixteen. Sixteen total. Yeah. Okay. Um. I got nothing perception wise. You don't. <laughs> All right. Something, so something's in the trees. Just saying. You don't you don't even notice as this shadow seems to rush right into you. I, I'm busy looking at the trees. Yeah, and you you seem to feel a little more weightless as something is snatched from your person. Mm. Hmm. And then you hear the leaves as it scurries back into the trees. My hand is still on the pommel, right? You thought it was. Yeah. Your hand is missing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, can I try to see how many of them there are? I can investigate. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? You can investigate. You can investigate first. Yeah, I'm you an investigator. Want to yeah, you're an investigator. Mm -hmm. Okay. So roll investigate. I uh, will do that. Through your intelligence. Right after I'm like, what was that? They took my knife. Okay. Does that say 20 or does that say 5? That's a big difference. It says 8. It says 8. Neither. Um, Not anymore. That would have been good. <laughs> So, 8 plus 8 is 16. Have I noticed anything? You notice that something bumped into him, knocking him on the ground, and he seems to be worried about a missing object. Hmm, okay. They took it. Can I perceive... Object he might have. Can I perceive what happened? Or, no, I guess you not. Didn't, you didn't do very good at investigating yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm not either. I'm sorry. Did I see what general direction they went? I got a 16. Jeez. Okay. That's what I got. <laughs> Maybe there's a more straightforward way of doing things. I don't know. You too seem to be confused on where what hit him, but you do know that there are things to be aware of in these woods, and you start kind of reaching back and guarding your own pack. <laughs> um, Zix, bring that back here. <laughs> the trees rustle as you hear these strange little barks. <laughs> Security oriented, but this is my knife. Uh, jump into the trees in the direction that the sound came from. Okay. Um, let's see. So you're just going to climb up into the trees. Let's get you to roll decks okay. for movement through the trees to see if you can move fast enough to catch up to whatever it was. I'm going to use my physiology okay. to act as my acrobatics. I got you. Nope. Gosh. How's the... We're going to put the bad the, die yeah, away. Put it in the cage. Uh, it rolled a four. No, you, if, if it hit into that tray, I don't. Okay. I'm not going to make you do it. So, that is 
16 plus 7 is 23. Awesome. So you know that you are basically focusing your complete mind's energy into your body. Yeah. And the rest of you notice that this very small diminutive mm -hmm. man seems to move with great agility and speed as he starts bouncing from limb to limb up through the trees with speed and fervor. As he moves through the tree, he actually notices the small shadow that is running with some bling in its hand, the shining of the blade still glimmering in what light is available from Sam. And as you're catching up to him, he, he obviously notices that you're catching up to him, and he mm -hmm. turns back. As he does, you, uh, you see his face. Glimmering in the light. Here's how we'll do that then. If you're going to mess with me, electronics. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bouncing here. As it looks up at you, it seems like the skin is grayish green oh, and wow. almost covered in its own muck and slime. Large, gritty smile black beady little eyes and uh, kind of misshapen head and ears and body Ew. almost like a strange humanoid little monkey creature. Mm. Uh-huh. John. I like it. That is holding John. your blade that, that in its monkeys. hand. John. Yes. She wants you to look at her. That monkey. It is a bat monkey. <laughs> bat monkey. Yeah, so you've caught up to it okay. with your speed and fervor. That is uh, scary looking. I will let you roll a dexterity save with your speed and fervor. I'm a bad monkey. You can use Eight. your physiology again if you want. 18. Total? Yeah. It lashes out at you with your own blade and catches a hold of your side as you're moving too fast to change direction as you're running right at him. Okay. Um, so that there... Uh, it's currently in glaive form, so it would be two damage. Okay. And I block that with my DR. My armor's made okay. to so block my own weapons. Your armor catches the majority of that, okay. that force. But you can tell that he's cut into your outer layer of clothing. Cut through my... And you can see his intent was to do damage. Okay. All right. Um, since you made your maneuver, we'll hold you for one second in that action. In that split second, what are you doing, Sam? You notice that this strange yeah. little bad monkey is now trying to cut this guy that you're you're walking. Yeah. Around and with. do I perceive that he is like an animal or like a rational creature? Um, it does not seem to be an animal per se. Okay, but he does seem to be aggressive. He is aggressive, and he's alone. That's what it appears as, to be. As we can tell. But he's aggressive. So as as I'm going to noticed. do electric bolt. All right. So you're going to try and shoot him with electricity. Yeah. All right. So... Ask him if he's a god first. <laughs> and then if... Because I... I am semi-L. <laughs> Are you a god? <laughs> then... Duh! You know... <laughs> All right, I'll just so shoot him with my electric. Your electric Google. would be running off of your con, I believe, or your no, running off your decks because you're okay. trying to shoot. You're trying to catch him with it. Right. Range attack. That didn't count because I didn't hit that button. <laughs> when I pick it up, it automatically does it. So that's a nine. Should I use a favor to roll again? It's nine plus the eight. If you want to use a favor to roll again, you can. I, I won't stop you. Does nine plus eight do it? We don't know. Um. Nine plus eight. I don't, come where's up to that? Seventeen. That doesn't feel like it's enough. Are you using Favorite. this to re-roll or to add to your roll? Ooh. That would be something eighteen, nineteen. So it'd either be nineteen or a re-roll. Do you want a chance nineteen Is being 19? enough? Is nineteen good? When I roll, I rolled eight. I was my conscience. Is my conscious a moron? No, it's 12, so that's 20. Hey, that's better than 19, isn't it? Is it is better than 19. All right, so your electricity is going to carry 
Did we write your damages down on the side of your sheet there? Um, where's my sheet? It's under. It's on the back. Those are my questions. Like, is it supposed to be up here? Uh, probably, mm. probably right next to. Oh, you wrote fedora under weapons. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Wait, are you oh, odd job? John. <laughs> I think he's odd job. <laughs> yeah. We'll say that it's carrying at least medium damage, um, as it's a. Uh, it is a superpower, so we'll say that it's carrying a four damage. So write that down. Four D. Mm. All right. So you do hit this strange little creature. You see this bolt of lightning shoot right past you bolt and strike right into this creature, blasting it back. It drops your blade right into the tree, so it kind of like shink down into the tree stump or to the the limb that the you're limb standing that on. on. Yeah, and the bolt of electricity has shot him off of that limb. All you hear is ah, <laughs> as it <laughs> smacks into the ground. And you hear several more. Yeah. The trees starting to rustle, limbs starting to move. I bend down and try to pull my weapon from the tree limb. Now, Brigitte, you see him shoot out with this lightning and it hits this goblin in the trees. You hear this noise, this. <laughs> Something land just behind where mm. you know Sam to be standing. Something He's just behind, behind me. Him. Yes, like so he shot out with electricity and then something seemed to land just behind him. On the ground. Yeah. In the dark woods. I mean, it's it's okay. pretty dark, but you can either just react or try to see. I don't know what you okay. want to do. He's going to kill me. Oh, he's not going to die. <laughs> but I can't see what it is. The woods are very dark. I mean, you, you would see that he is providing some glow, but most of his glow is coming from his front. Because yeah. that's where his face is open to. His collar is popped, so most mm -hmm. of his back is yeah. is not illuminated. That's Something my, behind you. My collar. Wait, do what? <laughs> he is busy recovering from There's shooting lightning. There's something behind lightning. you. He's pretty busy recovering from just now shooting lightning at oh. another creature. It is. I've just shot lightning at Or do you want to hold? I can't see it. I don't want to try to shoot anything at it. Can't see what I'd be shooting oh, at. That's true. Are you able to illuminate? She's mostly um, blunt force. I'm more more sharp force, but yeah, I get it. Sharp force. Well, what would you like to do? Um, I armor yourself. I mean, this is your yeah. move. Armor up. No, I sure don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, Wait, I don't know what I have to roll, but yeah, what are you rolling? You don't have against? to roll. So you have spells prepared, correct? I don't have to roll what? You don't really usually have to roll for like you just non combat, like non contested. I think I still have to roll to, for success to oh. put armor on. Just you're only rolling. to activate this spell. Yeah, you're just using it. I don't have to roll at all. That's on yourself, right? Yes. Do you want you to have stop it pre-prepared? Yeah, but I've been a, okay. Generally, against, I got some armor on. Generally, willing targets don't require yeah. a contested roll. You're not in the middle of any kind of PvP combat or anything like that. You're just rolling it. You're putting it on yourself. You're not contesting yourself. You've prepared the spell beforehand. So 
you would notice that her skin starts to basically turn rock hard. Oh, yeah. Would I? Like, I'm up in the tree right now. It wouldn't be hard to see that she goes from being kind of a pale, pretty girl to more, more dense and gray and larger framed. That's pretty okay. cool. Um, so she, she armors up. Gotcha. And you see that she has yelled towards him that something's behind him. Um, was I able to pull my yeah. weapon? You're good enough at using your weapon that you know how to pull it out of wood. Okay. I would... I'm going to try to leap down behind him with my sword. Like, change the weapon into a sword. Mm -hmm. to try and make a strike at whatever's behind him. Can All I see right. a sh rough shape at least? You can, yeah, you can probably see like a, a lumbering shadow. I'm assuming whatever's in the shadows that moved right after that thing attacked us is probably also a thing. You would see a lumbering offensive. shadow. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to jump and just strike. Do a leaping strike. Leap of faith. To... All right, I like it. So, that is still going to be dex, I'm guessing? Yes. Uh. <laughs> right. It's uh, 13. Total? Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> so as you leap down, you have your blade in front of you. Uh, Sam, you see this gnome yeah. that's leaping down right behind you. You kind of duck out of the way. Mm -hmm. As you're coming down, you hear this. <laughs> as something bashes right into you. Mm -hmm. And as Sam turns around, you see it illuminated pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, as it has this mace. Oh, that has just smacked into your chest. <laughs> it is yeah, a two-handed weapon, and it's carrying six damage. Uh -huh. Oh dear! It is large and misshapen. It's standing at about six foot five, with a large mm, growth like a hunch on its back. It's got to. Uh, hair that's kind of slimy and falling out of its head and eyes that are unevenly looking at you. Uh, this is what was behind you, sir, with a large clubbed mace. Oh, nice. And it just smacked your little gnome friend to the ground. Um, little gnome friend. I roll with the fall mm -hmm. out of my cloak. So now my half plate armor is clearly visible. Shimmering and black. Yeah. Gotcha. And I'm just laying there on the ground trying to... <laughs> gotcha. As you, uh, as you turned around, Sam, this thing is just standing there... Right. Raising its club high in the air above its head to come at you now. Because oh. you shot the little yeah. goblin in the tree. Alright. I will, like raise myself up and like start sparking electricity as a show right so you're going to try to intimidate you want to try and scare it away okay. yeah, yeah that yeah. would be charisma okay roll that off of charisma to see if you can scare it away can you spark between us because it's a negative spark it is a negative charge you can try to use that <laughs> I've rolled a two You rolled what? I rolled a two. Plus the seven, plus... Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a two. All right. So instead of scaring it, your little light show has enraged it. It Not now rushes at you, and it swipes down with its club into you. And that was a pretty bad failure, so I don't even know if I can give you time to get out of the way of that. 
that mm -hmm. carries he was carrying a six damage with his <sighs> blunt force so he like hits the ball of lightning with a club a wood club yeah oh wood oh that does damage electricity yes dang all right, let's see. Much like it damages Six green damage. lantern. Yeah. <laughs> um, a number two yellow pencil. So I don't, <laughs> do I don't have any... You have no... I have no life. No unarmored defense or anything? Uh, No, no. I'm electricity. <laughs> well, okay. <So>. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Can I try? I can't. You said I couldn't dodge it, so... Yeah, you couldn't really dodge it. I didn't yeah. know you had no uh, unarmored defense at no all. No unarmored defense. Gotcha. All right. Uh, what what's your health at now? My health is non existence is what I would call it. <laughs> in a it is based off uh, it's of based your, off your con, con, so you're at two health now. I'm at two health. Okay. So he you see he um Brigitte? Yes. I you see, see him. that he gets bashed by this pretty hard and smacks into yeah. the ground, his light dims a I'm little not uh, feeling the gnome well. is kind of laying on the ground trying to catch his breath as well. As you see this lumbering uh, mass stalking over towards them again to do to finish the job. Come um, save us. How far away am I? Uh, you're within within range. Can I punch it? Like stone fist? Just punch it? Can I punch it? Because I'd be using my magic, right? So you're using your... Yeah. Can I? Because she's already no, I'm, 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 i am 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 i if only we had two more party members. <laughs> I'm going to need you to work that right, out for so two plus your magic is at eight. eight. So ten's only half. So that fails, I think. All right. So she runs towards this thing, but kind of slow, lumbering speed. <laughs> and <laughs> it ducks out of the way as she mashes her fist right into this tree. And you see all of this oh. splintering wood just like... <gasps> That's like cool she though. explodes that part of the tree as mm. she like smacks it with full strength as all of these splinters are now shooting out everywhere that looks cool. you and sam can roll dexterity to try and get out of the way of oh. the oh, yeah. shrapnel from uh, the tree i'm gonna use hard to see that coming yeah speed of lightning yeah huh okay it's a one it's, uh, plus eight. Is you rolled a nine. Eight plus. Yeah. So that's fourteen. I will take that. You're welcome. What would you, what would you 14. get? Fourteen. Does this do anything? Speed of lightning. Did I jump in the way of all of the splinters? <laughs> I rolled a fourteen. <laughs> you did, sir. <laughs> you like leapt up. And just took the brunt of most of this 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 shrapnel. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Why don't you use your reactive armor on that? Okay. Um, the shrapnel coming through is it's not a large weapon or anything like that. It only carries two damage. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I, I absorb four. So. Okay. So you're able to use your reactive armor to basically cover yourself and him. Yeah. So what you would see, Brigitte, is that his shiny black plate armor mm -hmm. seems to shift and expand into a shield in front of him, absorbing most of the wooden flex. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then it shifts back into black armor on his flesh. Well, that's good that you had that. Yeah. Now, this thing is now still coming at you. It ducked out of the way of her fist mm -hmm. and it is still lumbering towards you. Um, can I still use the precog to try to dodge? You can it's either jump, dodge, or attack. It's up to you. Oh, it's my turn. It's your turn. Okay. Yeah. Um, in that case, 
I'm going to try and, and follow the motion that I was using to knock some of the splinters out of the air mm-hmm. to bring my sword back up and try, to cut. try to stab it. Let's see if that works. Uh, it's 18. All right. So you do manage to move with speed and fervor. Yeah. And you slice against its shoulder. Okay. You don't manage to catch jugular or anything of that nature, but you do manage to slice against its shoulder. You carry what damage? Uh, four. Four damage. Sword. Okay. So I was aiming for the neck, and it it saw me coming too. Yeah, you saw like like he has like this big, almost cancerous growth all over his body, and it seems this he just shifts, and it you catch that threw me off. It's got ooze coming out of it now. Sam, you're actually directly behind him as he jumped in the way of all the shrapnel, and Mm. then seems to try and cut at this thing that's lumbering over towards you that has done so much damage to you. I'm going to try and do damage to it. That makes fair sense, sir. <laughs> so I'm going to hit it with a bolt of lightning. Was that 61? Um, no, it's 19. <laughs> nice. Uh, plus. Better eight. than that, too, that just happened with yes. you. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, that's 27. Excellent. So basically, as you swipe and cut its shoulder. He stands up right behind you, and he's now over you easily. He's standing over you, and he just pushes both of his hands forward and shoots this bolt of lightning straight into the thing, which sends it reeling back across the ground as it stops, like, right near where Brigitte is, and it's trying to, like, help itself back up, but it's got, like, these char marks across its chest, and its eyes kind of twitching and everything. Shoulders all pussy. What do you do, Brigitte? I don't even know. I'm afraid to do anything else. Hammerfist dance. I'm going to roll another two. Where's my other dice? I would give you one of mine, but you've been rolling horrible. Right there. (laughs) Total. I got a 12. Oh, I thought you rolled another two. I was like, you literally pre well, it. Technically, it's 13. I got- so, basically, as this thing, like, lands right near her, she moves to, like, slam both her fists down on it again. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But it uses what adrenaline it has left to scurry off into the woods as she slams both her fists oh, into the ground, causing this huge explosion of dirt to fly up, and it covers this thing's escape. You don't even see what direction it goes. Wow. Dang it, it's gotten away. Well, I guess we scared that off. But you got your sword back. Yeah. So that's good. That's a plus. I clean it off, turn it back into a glaive, and put it back in its sheath. All right. And then I grab my cloak and put it back on. <laughs> now with kidney hole <laughs> do y'all have anything to say to each other before y'all start moving through the woods again oh, let's say that sucks. what the, the <laughs> that was nothing to be worried about is it normal uh, well no normally I do better than that oh <laughs> <laughs> well Whatever magic you just used is very strong, obviously. Um, I, My skin light goes back to normal. She turns back into a soft-skinned girl. <laughs> of course, you would know of the legends of these woods. Mm-hmm. You would know that uh, these things... Uh, that you would basically call the banished live in these woods. 
I think we should be on watch for more of the banished, just in case they aren't done with this yet. It is said that all the sinners are sent to the Saburo Preserve, and other things of intensity live in these woods as well. So, just so you're aware of just what so you would know. Says I outside, out loud. Yeah. Yeah. So that everyone knows. Well, and she would know too, since she's obviously been here before. She says she's done well, but he'd like to know. These yeah. things are called the Banished, and you're in some place called the Saburo Preserve, where they send all the sinners. Well, none of that matters. Congratulations, you have two tour guides. Cool. So she's been here before. She's been here, and I seem to know... So she was said she was from somewhere else. The stories. I'm the from myth. Vallas. This place. Uh, yeah. yeah. But, so you've traveled here before? Um, and of course, I've to you, she before. keeps saying a word that could just mean another city on this yeah. place. You have yeah. no idea what it means. Yeah. It means I'm from another planet. I fell through a portal, and here I am. Oh. Yeah. But you've been here for a while, yes? Yes. Mm. No, I live in these woods, mm. I think. Oh. Were you sent here? Are, are you one of the banished? I mean, you haven't taken on the mutations. Um, I'm not one of the banished. I'm a mutant. Full disclosure. Wait. <laughs> Did he just say he's a mute? He's a he mute. said he's a mutant. He's a mutant. Oh. Full disclosure. Yeah. That explains it. Yeah. There's lots of mutants where I come from. No, I am here on this world. Because I fell through a portal from my world. Oh, good. I have since been living in this forest. I, I was beginning to worry that maybe you hid your mutations under a backpack. That is the hunchback. <laughs> it's not even the backpack. It just covers the hunchback. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, excellent. Uh, I think we should be moving. I don't want to be here when it gets even darker. <laughs> <laughs>